group is in the standings uh the way things have gone the last few games since uh, daryl's come on board i wonder if uh if it's safe to say that you guys have to have a playoff mentality at this point i didn't have the heart to say anything <laughs> sorry luch we didn't catch any of that but i'm sure it was great any chance uh, you could repeat that yeah yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> no i said definitely uh, you know it is a playoff mentality uh on a game-to-game -game basis and you know it's nice um, you know, since the coaching change that, you know, we, we've been able to get three wins in a row here, but I think Daryl said it last night best, uh, if the season ended today, we're on the outside looking in. So, um, you know, every game, uh, means a lot. So it is a playoff mentality and that's the way we got to take it, uh, one game at a time. Okay. We'll go to solemn next. Hey, this would be for, for both of you. Um, what's the role of fighting in today's National Hockey League? I know, Brett, you, you obviously had one yesterday, and Milan, you're looked at as probably the toughest player in the league. How do you guys see the role of fighting today? And how, has it evolved at all in the past year or two? Or, Well, I, I think I threw out a stat the other day that, uh, you know, fighting's been up uh, since last season, and I think that has a lot to do with, you know, playing um, – the same teams over and over again. So guys get a little annoyed of each other and guys tend to piss each other off. And, uh, you know, with it being like my last answer, last question, uh, being more of a playoff uh, type of feel every on a, on a game to game basis, uh, those, I, I think that's why those numbers have increased. And a lot of times just sticking up for your team, sticking up for your teammates, sticking up for yourself. And uh, I think that those, when you look at it, those things will never change. And Brett? Yeah, obviously exactly what, what Luce just said. Um, you know, I think like the gentleman's fights that you used to see back in the day between two heavyweights is sort of gone. But uh, when there's a big hit and a team feels like they want to want to make a response to that hit or, you know, maybe just to change momentum sometimes, there's different things that can happen in a game. And I think you've been seeing that a lot more just with the rivalries and playing the same same guys all the time. Do you guys find it a bit um, funny to explain to your non-hockey family or friends the role of fighting in the sport? Because, because it seems like fighting in hockey maybe is more prevalent than it is in baseball or basketball. Do you find it kind of – you have to explain that to people sometimes? Sometimes. The way I explain it, you know, it's kind of like a schoolyard when you're growing up. You know, if you, uh, if you don't get – if you don't stick up for yourself or – Maybe don't stick up for a buddy or somebody who can't stick up for themselves. You know, that's when you tend to get picked on and, and, uh, and bullied. So that's, that's why I always refer to it. It's kind of like a schoolyard out there. Well, old school schoolyard. I don't know what schoolyards are like today, but so old school schoolyard. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we'll go to Wes Gilbertson. Milan, can... Can I just kind of pick up on what you said earlier about, you know, Daryl's comment last night that, you know, this team is still on the outside looking in. You've played for him. How does he balance the, you know, maybe what you guys are doing well with continually pushing for more? Like, how, how does he strike that balance? Well, I, I think he just does a good job of uh, continuing to make you hungry as a, as a team and, and an individual, you know, he, he, he wants the best and he expects the best from a, on a day-to-day -day basis. And, you know, even in practice, if we're not executing and, um, you know, um, finishing off plays and, and putting passes on tapes, he, he lets us know. And um, I think that's what, what, why teams that he's coached in the past have had success because he keeps guys honest and hungry on a day-to-day -day basis. What, perfectionist be a fair way to describe him I, I know hockey's a kind of a game of mistakes but does he have that sort of perfectionist in him as a coach I think so <laughs> um you know I, I think he also has a mentality of uh you know being good isn't good enough you got to be better than good and and I think that's something that you know you know he brings uh as well and and we all know in in the sports world uh, perfection is is almost impossible, but 
you know, you can demand it and to, 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 to get the most out of, out of everyone. Eric, do you have a follow-up question? Uh, this is my first question, caller. Uh, Brett, and it's for both you guys. What goes through your mind when you knock a guy out in a fight like last night? You know, what goes through your mind when you see the guy you've just knocked out is, is kind of in trouble? Well, you never, you never want to see that happen. Like, obviously, you go into a fight trying to win the fight, but uh, your, your goal is never to knock a guy out and hurt him. Um, I mean, you notice when you hit him pretty good and it's sort of, you know, your emotions are so high at the time. Like you're, you're happy that it's over and you're not hurt, but you're kind of like, crap. I just, you know, that, I hope that guy's all right. How about you, Milan? Yeah, same sort of thing. You just hope the guy's okay. But, you know, when you're in the fight, you want to, you want to, you want to get him before he gets, gets you because, you know, the same thing could happen to you. So, uh, when you're in, when you're in the moment, you're doing whatever you can to win the fight. And when there is fighting, stuff like that's going to happen. But at the end of the day, you're just hoping the other guy's okay. And Brett, can you just talk a little bit about the role you played in Dallas? Was it different over the years or was it always kind of similar? It was similar. Yeah. Like I'm not a guy, like as far as the fighting topic, I'm not a guy that's going to lead the league in fights, but if no. I notice a, a hit or something, or if I have to answer for something that I did, those are the sort of things I look for. Um, but I mean, yeah, sorry. You're, I, I didn't mean just as a fighter. I meant just as a player, what was your role there generally? Yeah, similar. I, I would bounce up and down the lineup and, uh, you know, a little bit of power play, a little bit of uh, always sort of try to be a good five on five guy. And just, I'd always played the same way. It's not like I changed anything. No. Okay. And the role that you've gotten here, I mean, is it safe to say that, you know, before camp and stuff, you were wondering if maybe your career was coming to an end or maybe you'd go to Europe or something like that. And what a 180 it's done under Daryl. Yeah, I was always pretty confident. I knew I was good enough to play in this league on a nightly basis. Uh, you know, you just got to get a couple of bounces go your way and uh, someone to trust you. And uh, like I said, I'm not, I, there's not like a whole new game plan or anything. And I wasn't really in too much of a panic. I just sort of believed in my, uh, in myself. And, and this role that you've been given by Daryl, I mean, safe to say that's a pretty, uh, pretty awesome perch you have on a line like that. Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, we need to start scoring some more goals as a line, but uh, the team's playing well and we're buying in defensively and we're a lot harder to play against. So, you know, I think it's it's positive so far. And finally, what what is your role on that line? It seems like Johnny flips it in and you go get it. Is that is it that simple? <laughs> yeah, I, I think I, I like to be the guy getting in on the puck first on the forecheck for sure. But, uh, you know, I think if we can get Johnny the puck with some time and it comes through the neutral ice, I think we can add another element. He can use his, his skill to maybe stop up, make a couple of plays, and and we can sort of be a double threat. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, thanks, guys. We'll see everyone tomorrow, pregame skate at 1030.